Hayslip with Nerd HQ 2013, and with me is Mr. Comic Con himself, Nathan Fillion. Hi, sir. No wait, pressure. Wait. Wait. Okay. Okay. Now you I'm ready. ready. For this? Let's go. Okay, start. Sweet. Let's start now. Oh, now we're starting. Oh, right. Hi, everyone. No. Okay. How many Comic Cons is this for you? I I was trying to calculate last night. I think this is eight. Eight. I think. That's I've really never. Wait. So does that mean you guys it. didn't come here with Firefly the first, when it was first on? I, there was there was time after fire there was time after firefly when yeah yeah we weren't here oh man yeah, yeah right after we got canceled that didn't seem to be such a big deal and, and 10 years later 10 years what is later it, like 11 years now it's a big deal yeah, yeah. it's a huge deal yeah. uh so since you've been here so many times are there are there things that still get you excited Literally, the energy of this city, walking down the street, everybody is riding a high. Everybody, even if they're most exhausted, is extremely excited. And, and the torture that they will go through, I saw an Iron Man costume today, listening to that guy talk for me, you know he's dying. And he's going to be dying all day long, yeah. but for this. Because you know he didn't bring a change of clothes. He didn't bring that. It's not like he has Tony Stark back There's no Iron Man bag. underwear. Change out. Function. There probably is Iron Man underwear. I'm sure you can find that somewhere on the floor. I'm wearing it now. Oh my goodness. Seriously, backstage stuff. You should see where the spot blows. <laughs> anyway, listen, let me, anyway, that's it. Okay, so you've been a friend of Nerd HQ since its beginning yes. as well. Yes, yes. How amazing is it to see how it's grown? Okay, uh, I've, my experience with Nerd HQ uh, started in my backyard. Zach Levi came over and said, I had this idea to today. Do you see what we're looking at with the, with huh. the, there's a dance floor behind you up here. Uh, laser light shows, uh, gobos they call them, oh. the little shapes that they put in front of Industry lights to make top. it crazy. Yeah, uh, stages, air condition. This thing is monumental. Uh, it's increased in size and fervor exponentially every year since he started. Yes, and the parties just keep getting bigger and bigger. The parties just keep getting bigger and bigger, and it can't go unsaid. Uh, He's helping make the world a better place, changing the lives of kids with cleft palates, yeah. babies who can't feed properly because they can't get food down because it comes right. It's ridiculous what's going on, and he, it's, 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 a, it's a cause I'd never heard of before, yeah. Zach. It's, it's quite an enhancement to Comic-Con itself, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It really is. Thank God he couldn't get a booth over there, and he had to do this. Right. Do you, when you walk the floor at Comic-Con, do you wear a costume? Uh, this year will be the first year I'll be able to walk the floor uh, at Comic Con in over five years. The last time I did it, I did it in costume. I'll probably just, yeah, I'll probably cover my face up. Yeah. I'll probably buy a better mask once I get into Comic Con. There you go. There you we'll go. Switch it out real quick. Boom. What was your costume five years ago when you did it? Five years ago, I dressed as uh, Vigilante, oh. uh, which was a, a DC character that I voiced. That was a little nudge nudge uh -huh. to my resume uh, for uh, the WB. That's awesome. We were saying that the ultimate celebrity costume would be them dressing as the character they're best known right? as. Right? Like Johnny just... Depp? <laughs> yes. <laughs> as Jack Sparrow? Yes. It's like, eh, it's close, buddy, but... I know. Oh. Best cosplay ever. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I know you're about to start the mystery panel. Right. Spoiler alert, he's Spoiler on the mystery alert. panel. But by the time this airs, it'll be done. All right. Uh, so go have fun with that, and we're going to see... Oh, wait, wait, really quick. Can you tell us about the screening that you have Saturday night here? Saturday night? I don't know if you can see that big black thing in the distance. That's an inflatable screen. Gonna pump up. We're gonna put a couple thousand people in this field with blankets and pillows. Eight fingers, people. Eight fingers apart. <laughs> That's how much distance they get. That's how much distance you but have. But what to are we gonna watch? We're gonna watch Serenity. Hello. Serenity. You get to watch Serenity with Nathan. So come on down. And again, you buy a ticket, and all the money goes to charity. It all goes to Operation Smile. It's amazing. You can't shake a stick of that. What? You can't shake a stick. You can't shake. A... It's old-fashioned talk. Uh, yeah. It's old-timey talk. Oh, old man. There you go. All right, well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Come check out a screening. <laughs> you coming to get me? Yeah. Bye. <laughs>